What's up guys? Today I want to talk about the MX Master 3 for Mac. I've had a really weird love-hate relationship with this mouse. Let me explain. So I've always wanted this mouse. Whenever I see people have it, I'm always like, wow, it looks so nice. It looks so ergonomic. It looks so uh, productive. But you know, I've always been used to just having a gaming mouse. Like for the longest time, I've been using the Logitech G703 and it's a great mouse. Like it's honestly, it's so light. It's so easy to use. It has four buttons. You know, like it's very simple. I love how like precise the mo the mouse movements are and it's great for gaming. It's great for just like overall productivity. There's no quirks to it. It's just simple. But for some reason, um, I was having some trouble with it, uh, especially using the Bluetooth receiver. And for some reason, whenever I would hook it up, like I don't know if it was because it wasn't USB-C, I was getting some like major lag issues whenever I would have my, my MacBook hooked up to a display. You know, I tried plugging it into the display itself and I tried plugging it directly into the computer I tried plugging it into a USB hub and um, no matter what there was always problems there was always like lag and sometimes the mouse just wouldn't even work specifically about mice um, on Mac any type of mouse that I've ever used has never really worked the way that it should you know like there always seems to be some lagging there always seems to be some weird disconnecting happening when I'm on Bluetooth sometimes it'll just disconnect for no reason so then I have to like type a key a bunch of times for it to like reconnect and wake up and then also with my mouse sometimes i'll just go on and it'll be like extremely laggy and choppy and all over the place and then i have to like relaunch the g-hub thing and and even when the mouse is like plugged in via usb sometimes it'll still run into the same issues every once in a while so like it's a mouse we shouldn't be having these issues with mice anyways that's just like my experience i know on windows you don't really run into a lot of those issues as much, but on Mac, I just feel like I keep running into weird issues. You know, I really like precise movements because I actually grew up playing Counter-Strike. Even with my mouse and keyboard, I always have my hands on WASD and like control, it's weird. I always wanted this mouse because I just, I loved the little like side scrolly thing. I loved the look of it. You know, I thought it was just super cool. I love the feel of it. It feels great in my big hand. The G703 kind of felt a little bit too small sometimes. Sometimes my mouth, my wrist would cramp up a little bit. I finally took the plunge and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get the new mouse because I've actually been using the MX Master keys for the past year and I love them. They're so good, like it's just, honestly the best keyboard I've ever used. It comes with a little Logitech receiver. And so I was like, oh, if I get this mouse, I could just connect the mouse directly to the receiver. They made this mouse, the Logitech MX Master for Mac. It's kind of weird. It's a little bit redundant because there's nothing different about it other than the fact that it doesn't come with the Bluetooth receiver. So you're just supposed to use it with, uh, with Bluetooth. They also do have the option to use it with the Logitech receiver. So I can just easily use it, which is sick. And it was actually $20 cheaper. I actually managed to get this off Facebook Marketplace for like $65. Lo and behold, I finally got it. It's been pretty good. Uh, I mostly wanted to get it for productivity in terms of like using DaVinci Resolve. And with this one, you can customize all these buttons. You know, they have this little thumb button that's like very squishy. And then they have the forward and back buttons and they have this side scroll wheel. They have the middle mouse button, which scrolls like magnetically. It's kind of, it feels a little clicky, but it's not. It's more like bumpy, like you're going over like little speed bumps. Or you can press this button, which makes it free flow. And so you can just, I don't know how I feel about it. Overall, like mechanically, this mouse feels great. And this one's also USB-C chargeable. And apparently the battery is supposed to last like three months or something, which is just insane. Let's just start off with the pros that I've found with this mouse. I would say the pros are obviously the productivity aspect, the buttons. There's so many different buttons on this mouse that you can program to them to do pretty much anything. And you can also have different profiles for different programs. Like I have just a default global program for like, you know, mouse speed and like what these buttons are doing. And then I also have one specifically for DaVinci Resolve. You can actually download a DaVinci Resolve thing. It already has built-in presets, but I changed those pretty quick because, you know, I kind of wanted to make it my own. So I've actually made the forward and back button to be uh, zoom in and zoom out. When I first got this mouse and started using it, it felt really weird. The DPI was really low. It also had this like momentum thing, like with Mac where you start moving and it moves quicker if you move too fast. And then 
I just felt like my mouse was like flying all over the place. It didn't feel very natural. I actually found a setting online that you have to go into terminal and type in this little like setting and it actually turns off the acceleration and I've linked it in the description down below. So if you just wanna copy and paste it, you can do that. It actually helps out a lot. It makes it more of a linear movement. And that was the one thing that was really annoying for me. Also, I really felt like this mouse's default settings were really weird. You know, like whereas the G703, everything was just smooth. It felt really good. What I noticed about this mouse is that there seems to be like, like when I look at the mouse of the G703, my screen is 75 Hertz. It feels like it's moving that fast. But when I moved on this one, it almost feels like it's moving at like, it stops at like 60 Hertz or like stops at like 50 Hertz or something. Like it's weird. It's not as smooth. Well, hello there. 2023 Bryce coming at you, as you can tell by my scruffy ass hair. And the reason why it's been a while is because I actually just wanted to take some time to actually use this mouse. When I filmed everything that you just saw, I had just bought the mouse. It was maybe a week in between buying the mouse and filming that whole segment. I didn't have a ton of time with the mouse. You know, I, I don't think it was a, a fair enough time to really kind of put it through its paces. The reason why I kept everything in that whole video is because nothing's changed. In fact, the reason why I'm actually making this video now is because I switched back to the G703, the beloved. There were a few things that were kind of driving me crazy. The reason why I found this mouse to be really laggy, it only has uh, a, deep, a maximum DPI of 8,000. So DPI actually means dots per inch. It's kind of like refresh rate when it comes to monitors. If you have a higher refresh rate monitor, it's gonna be smoother. So this one has a 8,000 DPI, whereas the G703, 25,600. And that's why it was so much smoother, you know, cause it's made for gaming. It's made to be like extremely precise. I had the Razer, death adder before that it was like a wired mouse and i think it also had a very similar dpi to the g703 so i was just used to it i was used to having a higher dpi and because this one has such a low dpi i noticed it immediately and i just like i did not like it the scrolling never got better i did use the side scroll wheel quite often actually but at the end of the day it was just redundant and i didn't really use that very much and i actually never used the gesture controls. Like I never used this thumb button. I actually just forgot it was there. You know, they both have side buttons. They both have right and left click and a middle mouse button. So this has one more button than the G703. And I'm realizing that the only benefits that this really had over the G703 was uh, being able to have Bluetooth. You know, you could go from Bluetooth to the wireless receiver, but I honestly felt like the Bluetooth didn't work that well compared to the actual receiver. So, you know, the convenience factor, sure, it's that it's nice, but maybe I just need to not be so lazy and maybe I just need to remember to bring my uh, receiver. And if I don't have my mouse, then I'll just use the trackpad. But, you know, I don't like trackpads, so it's nice to have a mouse. Definitely one pro of using the MX Master and also the MX Keys is that you only need one unifying receiver and then you can connect both. With this one, I have to have two of them. But the nice thing about the MX Keys is that I can use Bluetooth on the MX Keys and then use or the G703 receiver just for the mouse. Again, the Bluetooth doesn't work as well as the unifying receiver. So I'm trying to think of like ways to make it work because I don't have enough USB ports to make, to put all the receivers in. And so I'm trying to think like, do I get a dock? I don't want to get a dock. I don't want to spend like $70 on a dock just so I can plug in two receivers into my computer. It's annoying. This mouse was definitely worth a try. You know, I always knew I wanted to try it out. I might sell it. I've been using the G703 and I know I said that it, it wasn't working properly, but it's because I was trying to plug it in through the monitor and everything. And it, it, I think the monitor is just not great for that kind of stuff. I might give it a second chance, but to be honest, after switching back to the G703, I've been actually loving it. It's just so smooth, it's so responsive. The scrolling is linear, it just works great with my computer. So I think I'm gonna keep it. And I, I think I'm going to sell this one. I haven't decided yet, but yeah. So it took me a long time to really dial in the settings on this mouse. Here are my settings on my mouse if you wanna copy that. And these are kind of like settings that I've found to be the most um, neutral, where there's nothing weird happening. It's not too fast, it's not too slow. Yeah, I've just seemed to like these settings for now, but I sort of go in and tweak them once in a while. That's pretty much it for today. I hope you have a great day and I hope you subscribe. I hope that you like this video. All right. See you later.